Hello everyone, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner and today I received this um, cute little Ejubis stamper and scraper uh, to review and so I'm very very excited about this. Um, but I thought I would review this and I would also, um, in the video, I want to take some time, not too much time, I don't want this video to be really long, um, to go through all of the stampers that I use on a regular basis and tell you what I like about them and what I don't like about them. So I thought that'd be really exciting. And actually I thought it would kind of be really good for people that make stampers to look at this video and see what you like and what you don't like and maybe what they should be doing. So, you know, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we'll get some good stampers that way, but I don't know. Probably nobody's going to see this except for you guys. But anyways, it'll be my thoughts and I'm really excited. This has got bling in it. I like it. I don't have any blingy stampers. So it's like very pretty. Okay, enough of that. Let's get into the video so it's not forever. <laughs> Okay, so first up is my new Ajubis Stamper that um, I got as a gift to review, so I'm very excited. So it comes with um, a really thick scraper, and it's got some bling in the cap, so that's nice. The cap comes off. It's all enclosed in there, but you can't take it off and put the crystals back in, I guess. Oh, no, I don't think you can, maybe. I don't know, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Now, the only thing I am not fond of is actually having a plastic piece on um, the back. And no matter how careful you are, eventually it does get scratched. I'm also not fond of the design of looking way down a tunnel to find your finger. Not fond of that. Um, if they wanted to have like a little bit um, longer of a handle, they could have still gone with like half the size. And then they could have also left this open. I like, I like stampers that have this open. Now let's test it out. So I have this um, Bundle Monster plate, which I know these images work perfectly. And I have my Moira Black Stamping Polish, which I know is really good. So let's check this out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, whoops, apparently get black stamping polish all over the place. <laughs> okay, and then I'm just gonna lightly scrape it because that's what I had to do the last time I used a thicker um, scraper and then pick it up with a rolling motion and that looks really good. Nice pickup. Okay, let's put it on a fake nail. I have one right here. And that's very good. So I really like that. Okay, so it gets an A plus that it works. Okay. <laughs> so I would definitely recommend buying this. I think they sell them on Amazon in a three pack. And I think it came with like three different colors of bling. I'm not sure. Maybe they were even three different sizes. I don't remember. Um, but I definitely, if you um, don't mind that this is enclosed and it's a long handle, um, it works really good. I would say go for it. If, if that's what you like, go for it. Okay, so now let's see what else I have. Okay, so next up was my favorite monocle stamper from Bundle Monster. Um, this thing picked up every single time. Um, it was very rare that it didn't. I like that it has a little cap, which I liked about the Ajubis one too. I always like a cap. And um, the only thing I don't like is this thing being enclosed because it got all scratched up. And tell you the truth, you know, I'm pretty careful with this darn thing. Um, I kept it in the packaging that it came in. So you can see how the scratches are, which you know what? It might, I mean, in person, you don't really notice it, but I'm trying to do videos. It doesn't look great. So I'm not liking that about that. Um, so let's check it out. So we will put that down. I've got my Bundle Monster Scraper, which is thin. 
So the thin ones you can go a little bit um, heavier handed on. And then this one is a flatter one, so you just kind of like boink it and it picks up, which didn't pick up really good that time. Let's see if we can get it again, because this one usually does. I think it missed a little bit. Let's try it again. Okay, yeah, that's really good. So let me get a nail over here. I'll try this out. And ta-da, works great. So if you like um, a big kind of low stamper, I always recommend this one. I did forget to mention that the only thing I've ever done with any of these stampers before I started using them was just to clean off um, the stamper head on my lint roller. This is all I've ever done to any of my stampers and they've worked perfectly. I didn't have to wash it, prime it, nothing. So I just wanted to mention that. This is my Uber Chic Sticky Stamper. It's like super sticky. If nothing works, more than likely it's the plate and my Sticky Stamper always picks up. So let's just take a look at it. Sticker, ugh, my sticker stamper. My Sticky Stamper also has a thin card with it. So I'll just use the thinner card because I didn't dig it out. And you just kind of roll it and it picks up. Come on, camera. There we go. Ooh, that looks pretty. Okay, um, and then you just plop it on your nail. Okay, works great. Next up is my new 3-in-1 Stamper. And I do remember seeing a review on the old style, which um, was cl more clear, and you kind of had to look down in it, and they, they didn't like this, and they didn't like the fact that it's, you know, tapered down into wide. Um, that's not really good. But anyways, this actually, if you wanted a longer handle, this comes up. Let's try not to break a nail. Okay, <laughs> so this comes off. So if you did like the longer handle, you don't mind looking down a tunnel, um, that comes up, which, nice, 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 because it's not going to, well, actually, I don't think this is going to get scratched anyways. That's kind of a weird thing. Oh, yeah, it could get scratched. Okay, whatever. But anyways, it's off, so you can see on there really good. Plus, but if you don't like this, that comes off and you have a short part, which I really like. really like it. I also like the fact that it's um, narrow, rectangular, because kind of like your fingernail is. Um, so I just don't get like the bigger and better things because only so much is going to fit in your finger. <laughs> but anyways, so let's test this out. I've actually been using this um, in my videos recently because I really like it. This one comes with a little thick scraper. So it did take me a little bit of time to realize that those thick scrapers, you don't scrape as hard as you do a thin scraper. So we're going to scrape. And then this one gets a rolling motion and it usually picks up better than that so we're going to give it another try. Last video I was using it and I was kind of cringing because I was worried it wasn't going to pick up and it did remarkable. Okay, we'll try doing that again. I'm still kind of missing a lot of that feather. Hmm. Try it one more time. Right, for some reason, I cannot get it to do a nice pickup with this leaf. <sighs> Give up. <laughs> um, it's just not really helping my review of this stamper. I mean, it looks pretty good. Um, it's just I don't think it was exactly perfect. And it just worked so perfect for me on Saturday. So I don't know what... I do not know what its deal is today. <laughs> okay, so um, let's go on to another stamper. Stamper is another Moyu London stamper, and it this back part comes off, which I really like. Um, this one is nice and wide, 
for you to see. It doesn't taper. I like that, um, that it doesn't taper. I bought this, I bought this for another reason, <laughs> not actually to use it for stamping or anything. Well, actually to use it for stamping, but um, I just bought it for another reason, and you guys will see in a coming up video why I bought it, <laughs> but not this video. So let's get the leaf out. Hey, I mow you. Let's work on our leaves. Okay, scrape it. Oh, actually, that one had a really good pickup. <laughs> Not like its brother. Okay, so here's a nail. Oh, wow, the stamper did not come off. That's really kind of amazing. <laughs> it landed right on it. Okay, there we go. Looks good to me. Last, wow, the last stamper I own, everything wants to fall on the floor, um, is a Creative Shop stamper. It kind of looks like this. And the reason I bought this is to shrink stamping images. That's kind of why I bought that other one, the other round Moyu um, one. This one is sticky. I like that. So let's check it out. And the Creative Shop scraper is a thinner scraper. So I'm going to use this thin scraper. Okay. And we'll pick it up. And it picks up beautifully. And let's get a nail out here. Okay. I don't have it on my stand. That's okay. We'll just hold it. And get stamping ink all over my fingers, but it works perfect. This one I bought this little case that it fits into. You don't want to push it all the way down or it'll get stuck in there for the rest of your life. And you definitely don't want to put the holder in there without the little thing on top of it because there's a lip on this case. And um, if you just stick the holder in there and you push it down, it'll get stuck on that lip and you'll be trying to get that out forever. Anyway. So I hope you all enjoyed my review and it gives you some good ideas on what kind of stampers um, work and don't work. I typically don't just like buy a ton of stampers because I have ones that work really well. So the only reason that I bought the Moyu London one is because I really like the shape and I really like the size. And then the Ujubis one was sent to me for a review and then um, the Round Moyu and the Creative Shop one, I purchased, I just purchased those two um, for shrinking images. And shrinking images will come on another video. I've been wanting to do it forever, but it'll probably be another couple of weeks before I get to that. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.